and peace be unto you on this day. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in yes. it. Glory be to God. We honor the spirit of Christ who is the head of our life. Yes. We are nothing without yes. Christ and can yes. do nothing without him. Yes. We recognize that if it had not been for the Lord yes. who was on yes. our side, yes. Yes. where would we be on where today? We be? For that we give him praise, glory, glory and, honor. and honor. Amen. Amen. Truly, we do welcome you to the Prophetic Voice Ministry. I am Prophet Veronica Mercer. We welcome you today to this platform to hear yes. what the spirit of the Lord is saying unto yes. the church. Thank he you. that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Amen. We are grateful once again for the Lord waking us up this morning, allowing us to see renewed mercies on today. We don't count it likely that we are standing and we have our being, that we are breathing, moving and living in Christ Jesus on today. So we just want to honor Christ who is our our life on today. Yes. Glory be to God. We're going to go into the word of God on yes. today. Yes. Yes. We'll be reading in your hearing out of the book of Ephesians, the epistle of Ephesians, mm -hmm. beginning at the fourth chapter, with starting at the 10th verse. Amen. Amen. And he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, yes. and some pastors, yes. and some teachers yes, he did. for the perfecting of the saints, yes, sir. for the work of the ministry, mm -hmm. for the edifying of edifying. the body of Christ, right. till we all come wow. into the unity of, of the faith, faith. And of the knowledge of the Son of God yes. unto a perfect man, <laughs> unto the measure of the statue yes, of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children mm. tossed mm. to and fro mm. and carried about with every yeah. wind yeah. of doctrine yeah. by the slight of men uh -huh. and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head even christ from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of mm. every part make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Amen. Glory be to God. We're going to talk about today, amen, the fivefold grace gifts. Glory be to God. Amen. And as we know, and if you don't know, the fivefold grace gifts, it is an answer given to the body of Christ from Christ to heal all of the ails that the body of Christ has. We must understand that we are to harness the power of the fivefold ministry. And harness, it means to utilize, make use, or apply. Mm -hmm. We have to apply what God has given unto man. Amen. Glory be to God. We have to apply, and that's the problem in the body of Christ. We're not applying what God has put on the inside of us, because Come if on. we were applying it, then we would see the fivefold manifestation of the fivefold ministry that's gifts right. working and operating in the house of prayer. Come on. Glory be to God. We have to get away from the one man model. In other words, our thinking. Glory be to God and how we feel and what we think. Glory be to God. It has always been God's plan to have fivefold ministry in operation in the church. Glory be to God. It's always been his plan for it to be operable internal and external. <laughs> and you can see in the churches, amen, that there's not a healthy unit, amen, of unity in the network of the fivefold ministry. Glory be to God. But we must work together spiritually until we have a healthy network operating in the ministry. 
We must, amen, learn how to cohesively and effectively work together and moving forward. Amen. And moving forward in the things of God, in the earth realm, implementing yes, in the yes. earth realm. Yes. Glory be to God. And when we come together cohesively and effectively working and operating in the fivefold ministry, then we will see the fruits and the results of it in the people. Glory be to God. We'll begin to see the unity of the faith operating once we come together effectively. Amen. Knowing our role, amen, in the, the fivefold ministry gifts. A lot of people, they, they have the fivefold gifts, amen. They have the mantles and stuff, but they don't know the function and how to operate effectively and cohesively in it. So there is no production. There's no fruit thereof. Amen. But we must learn how to do this. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And Thank edify, you. it means biblically to instruct and to improve, especially in moral and religious knowledge. We are to educate. We are to instruct. We are to teach, That's cultivate, right. and develop. Come Glory on. be to God. That is the job of the fivefold ministry gifts. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are all apostles? No. Are all prophets? No. Are all teachers, evangelists, and pastors? No. But he said he gave some. Amen. So we all can't be, amen, the fivefold ministry gifts. But he gave some. And you have to know where you fit in in your role in the ministry. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. On, so he says, if we do this, if we have a healthy fivefold ministry, amen, gift operating, ministry gifts operating in the church, then we will be fruitful and we will see these fruits manifested in the ministry. And the first one is unity in the faith. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We have to have unity in the faith. In other words, we have to work together. Our faith working together for the same common goal. That the ministry might grow. That the people might grow. That the works of God might be manifested and wrought in us and through us through unity. Amen? In the earth realm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 says, talking about faith, the apostle Paul says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That's operating and working in the faith together. Amen. We have to have the same talk. Glory be to God. We have to have the same walk. Amen. Glory be to God. I can't be speaking one thing and you're speaking another thing. But we got to have unity in the faith. Amen. Speaking the same thing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And then we must have the knowledge of the Son of God. I'm talking about the fivefold ministry gifts. Amen. Operating in the church. Amen. We must have the knowledge of the Son of God. Glory be to God. We must grow in the knowledge of our Lord. Amen. Jesus. For it is a fruit. Amen. That is working and effective in the fivefold ministry gifts. And as we grow in God, amen, he begins to give us a revelation which is insight concerning his purpose and himself, yes. amen, yes. glory be to yes. God, amen, and also concerning our assignment, amen, that he has for us in the earth realm and also concerning the church as a whole. Come on. Glory be Come to on. God. Knowledge of the Son of God. We must grow in the knowledge of Christ. We cannot stay and remain the same. This is why he gave gifts unto men that yep. he might equip, that we might equip the saints for the perfecting of the saints. Amen. For the perfecting of the ministry. Not our own ministry, but the ministry of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In Luke 
52 and 52, it says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. So Jesus, when he was here on the earth, he grew in wisdom and he grew in stature and he had favor with God and man. Glory be to God. So it's imperative that we are teaching the people the fivefold grace ministry gifts that we are equipping the people and teaching them, amen, how to come together in the unity of faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God. Glory be to God. It is imperative that we grow. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And then we must become mature. Amen. How many know that we got to come become mature? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For with effective working of the fivefold ministry, amen, when we see this being done, then we become mature. Amen. We have a disciplined lifestyle. Amen. We begin to grow. Amen. amen. And we begin to grasp the yes. responsibility uh, that God has for each and every yes, one of us. Yes, amen. In yes, order sir. to yes, move sir. to the place where we need to be. Yes. Amen. Yes, and when sir. this is an operation, then discipline takes place. Come on. Amen. Then maturity comes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. We got to be effective in this hour. Amen. We got to make sure that we are equipping the saints. Amen. So many times, amen, we get these grace gifts and the people are stagnated. Amen. They're not growing. Amen. In the grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ because there is no one equipping them. There's no one teaching them. But we must teach the people. Amen. Because it's not our ministry, but it is the ministry of Jesus Christ and it must be implemented in the church and then in the earth realm that he might get the glory. Amen. Glory be to God. That we might see God operating in the earth realm through the ministry. Amen. Of the saints. Glory be to God. And then, so hallelujah, then we can, amen, attain the full measure of Christ. Hallelujah. How many know that we can attain the full measure of Christ? Glory be to God. If I read in your hearing Colossians, amen, the second chapter and verse 9, it says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Amen. It is because we have been forgiven, we have received the fullness of Christ. We have been, for, been forgiven of our sins, and we have been received, excuse me, we have received the fullness of Christ. Amen. And it is God's desire that we all, amen, be, amen, that is in him. Glory be to God. It is his desire that we become, amen, full in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And all that is within him. Amen. Because he downloaded the fullness of himself into the hearers. Amen. Which are we. We are the hearers and doers of his word. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So he downloaded himself into us through his word. So we have the fullness of Christ on the inside of us through his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. And when there is an effective working of the fivefold ministry, then the evolution of our character is being developed. Hallelujah. We will no longer be infants. Glory be to God. But we will grow. Amen. Yeah. We will mature. Yeah. Amen. We will level up. Right. Amen. We will come up. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. When we are being developed. Yeah. Amen. We got to come up. Amen. God, we got to come up. Amen. Amen. We will no longer be infants. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad for maturing. I'm so glad for yes. a disciplined lifestyle in Amen. Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. It's Thank time to God. come up. It's Thank time to Jesus. level up. It's, it's time, time to have some discipline about yourself. Yes, Amen. God. God wants us to go on to perfection. Amen. That he can be glorified right. in us and all that we do and say. Amen. He wants to be glorified in our lives. Amen. He wants our character to be developed in him. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I've seen so many people that are gifted and talented, but they have no character. God wants our character to be developed. Amen. So this yes. is the responsibility of the fivefold ministry gifts, gifts to do this. Amen. Yes. And the people, yes. to develop the people. Amen. So that their character, amen, to can take them somewhere. Amen. Not their gifts. Amen. Some amen. people are going amen. and riding off their gifts. Amen. But their character is all messed up. 
Amen. Hallelujah. So God wants us to grow and mature. He wants us to become whole in Christ Jesus from the word. Amen. He wants our character to line up with what we are saying. Amen. It's a sad thing. Amen. We're preaching and teaching, but our character is saying something else. Hallelujah. But we got to come up. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank yes, you, Jesus. For, excuse me, St. Luke 7 and 24. It says, and when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What went ye out into the wilderness for to see a reed shaking with the wind? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We shouldn't be all over the place, but we should be stable. Amen. We should no longer be blown away here or there. Amen. Indecisive, moving. Amen. Around, vacillating. But we ought to be stable. Amen. We ought to have a steady foot. Amen. Glory be to God. Waiting on God. Waiting on instructions. Amen. To tell us how to move, which way to go, what to do, how to do it next. Amen. This is all the fivefold ministry. Amen. Gifts. Amen. This is what we are supposed to do for the people to teach them. Amen. How to be staple. How to not to be so easily moved. Amen. With every wind and doctrine that comes along. Glory be to God. I've never seen in my lifetime people are so easy to be moved by what somebody else say. Instead of searching out the scriptures to make sure that it has some biblical truth and some foundation. Amen. But they just be moved by what somebody say. Yes. Glory be to God. But it's our job to teach the saints to be stable. Amen. To have a yes. sure foot. Yes. Amen. In the word. Amen. To seek out the word for yourself. To know what the word of God says for yourself. And not be so easily moved by what you hear. Glory be to God. But knowing what the word of God says. That way you won't be moved by these fables, these fables that men are speaking. The lies. Amen. For the scripture said that they lay lies and wait and dis to seek to deceive you. But if you have the word on the inside and you know the word of God, you won't be moved. Glory be to God. I'm talking about an effective, amen, five-fold ministry in operation. Glory be to God. Time out for entertaining in the house of prayer. Amen. But we need sound doctrine. We don't need to be entertained anymore. It's enough of that going on. Glory be to God. And people are still dead. People are still bound. People are still hurting. People are still stuck because of entertainment. Glory be to God, but it's time, amen, to teach the people, amen, it's time to equip the saints, amen, it's time to perfect the saints for the work of the ministry, that they can rise up, glory be to God, and take on what God has placed on them, glory be to God, and the time, amen, for them to rise up and do what God has commissioned them to do effectively, glory be to God. Hallelujah. So when each part is doing their work, amen. In other words, every joint supplier, amen. When we all come together and do our part, amen. Not everyone trying to do everybody else's part, but stay in your lane and do what God has anointed you to do. Glory be to God. We got lane changers in the house of prayer. Everybody shifting gears and trying to go in everybody else's lane instead of staying in the lane. Amen. And work that lane. Work it. Amen. What God has given you to do. That way we can all come together. Fit jointly together. Amen. Amen. Every joint supplier. Amen. 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 Something not operating effectively, it causes a frailty in wow. the body of Christ. Amen. Have you ever heard about a weak link? Amen. We got some weak links in the body of Christ. Glory be to God because everybody trying to do somebody else's job. But God wants us to work cohesively and effectively. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. So when we're not doing that, amen, it becomes a frailty in the body of Christ. Amen. But when we learn to do our part, we make it easier, amen, for other parts of the body to operate. Amen. When the hand, the left hand is operating effectively and efficiently, then the right hand can come in and operate. Amen. The body of Christ is like a body. You have the head, you have the arms, you have the hand, you have the legs, and you have the feet. Amen. And the left hand, amen, if you have a hand and your thumb is not on your hand operating, it's going to be deformed. Everything else is going to be out of whack. 
Amen. So we need everyone in their proper place working effectively. Glory be to God. So the body of Christ can function effectively. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Glory be to God. We want the whole body, amen, to grow. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Time out for stagnation. Come on Glory now. be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But there should be a developed, amen, training environment in every house of prayer. Amen. That's why the teachers are important in the house of prayer. Amen. For the teachers are the one, amen, that give the people, amen, a love for the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. This should be a training environment in every house. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Not just theoretical. Amen. But we have to have practical practicum that we can apply it. Amen. Daily. Amen. Glory be to God. There should be a concern. Amen. For amen. Practical practicum. Amen. And being applied daily to the house of prayer to the saints of God. Hallelujah. Connecting, amen, with the kingdom of God and advancing it. Amen. Re reaffirming the people, amen, their mindset. Hallelujah. Amen. Getting them actively involved. Amen. Amen. Appreciating the people of God and their gifting. Amen. Hallelujah. Because everyone is important in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. That's what God wants us to do as the fivefold ministry gifts. Amen. He wants us to include the people of God and their gifts. Amen. Until their gifts, amen, are, amen, developed in them. Amen. Hallelujah. Practically, in, amen, making an impact. Amen. Glory be to God. Infusing a belief, amen, that is not position-based. Amen. Understanding that the kingdom of God is just not works, but it's a power. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to yes. God. God wants us to have power. Amen. Glory be to God. It's not about works. It's not about titles. Amen. Yes. It's right. not about that. Amen. But we have made it that. Amen. Everybody wants yes. to be an apostle. Everybody wants to be a prophet. Amen. A pastor, evangelist, and teacher. But it's not about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But it's about power. Amen. It's about working effectively. Amen. In the yes. ministry. Amen. Uh, Producing fruit. Amen. That's it. That's Hallelujah. It. Glory that's be it. to God. And it's the lead apostle's job. Amen. For he is the messenger. Amen. amen. He is the cultivator. Amen. Yes. And it's him. Amen. That brings amen and develops us. Amen. For yes. a greater yes. ministry. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. Glory be to God. A greater ministry. ministry. Amen. It's not about us. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's about Jesus Christ and him being glorified in us and through us and in the earth realm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Amen. To be a part of the fivefold ministry. Amen. I know my position. Amen. I know my functionality. Amen. In the ministry of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to get understanding and know. Amen. Who you are. Amen. And your gifting. Amen. That's and what right. God is. Amen. That's called right. and ordained and commissioned you, you to, to do. do. Amen. Too many of us are out of order, but we need to yes. get back in order. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And understand the scriptures. Understand what God has said. Amen. In Ephesians. Amen. Four. Amen. The fourth chapter. Amen. Glory be to God. Talking about. Amen. The gifts. Amen. The grace gifts that he has given unto some. Amen. Hallelujah. And understand the functionality and what we are to do. Amen. Because it's getting late yes. in the evening. Amen. Jesus is soon to come. Wow. Amen. And some of us have not yet still, amen, have found our purpose. Amen. In the kingdom of God. But now is the time to find your purpose. Amen. You know the world says find your niche. Amen. Now is the time to find your niche. Amen. Where you belong in the body of Christ and in the kingdom of God. And once you find your purpose, then you can work effectively in it. Once you know your purpose. But as long as you don't know your purpose, like the scripture says, amen, walking, amen, indecisive, just walking, amen, vicariously and don't know who you are and what you've been called to do, you're never going to be effective. Amen. Yes. Glory be to God. You're going to be the weak link. Amen. But now is the time to know what God has called you to do. Amen. And once you find your calling, amen, and your purpose, then work it. Mm. 
amen, so the ministry, amen, can grow, amen, so the ministry can grow, amen, hallelujah, so God can be, amen, glorified in you and through you, amen, so he can use you, amen, in the body of Christ, but we all have a part to play, hallelujah, we all have a part to play, we all fit together, amen, in the ministry of Jesus Christ, but it's up to you to find that out for yourself, amen, if you don't know, ask God, go in prayer, amen, turn your plate over, amen, yes. stop feeding so much, stop feeding the natural man, amen, but starve the natural man, amen, put yourself on a fast, right. get in the face of God, yes. and ask him, Lord, what is my purpose, That's you know, right. don't be ashamed, if you That's don't know, right. you just don't know, amen, and that we have not because we ask not. Glory be to God. But we got to ask God. We got to get in his face and ask yes. him, Lord, what is my purpose? Why am I here? What have you called me to do? Glory be to God. Everyone's not going to run with the microphone. Amen. Everyone's yes, not going to carry the Bible in the briefcase. Yes, Amen. And have an entourage. Amen. Yes, Glory be to yes. God. Amen. It might just be sweeping the floor. Amen. Yes, but we call you to be a, Amen, a helper in the ministry. Amen. By cleaning the house of prayer. Then do yes. it to the best of your ability that God will get the glory out of your life. Amen. So many times we want a high position, but we don't want to take the low job. Amen. That's how I started out. I started out cleaning the house of prayer. I had a key. Amen. When I first got saved, amen, I had a fire. Amen. I just wanted to serve the Lord. I didn't care at what capacity. I just wanted to serve yes. Jesus because I love the Lord, because I was appreciative of him saving my soul, him delivering me and setting me free. So it didn't it matter what I found my hands to do. I just wanted to do something for the Lord. Amen. You got to get a hunger and thirst for Christ. Amen. You got to get a desire to work. Amen. So I started out cleaning the house of prayer, cleaning the bathrooms, mopping and sweeping the floor. Amen. But I did it, amen, unto God. Amen. I did it wholeheartedly unto the Lord. I want him to be pleased with me. Glory be to God. So whatever it is, whatever your purpose is, amen, do it wholeheartedly unto to the Lord, that he might be glorified in you. Glory be to God. Don't be weary and well doing. Amen. Let God exalt you. Amen. We got to humble ourselves and wait on God. Amen. So many of us are running after titles. Amen. But we got to humble ourselves and wait on God because it's not about the title, but it's about serving God. It's about yes. being equipped for the ministry yes. to do the will of God here in the earth realm. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Glory be to God. So I encourage you on today. Glory be to God. Get in the word of God. You that are the fivefold grace, amen, gifts, amen. Make sure you're equipping the saints. Amen. Make sure you're perfecting the saints for the yes. work of the ministry. Glory be to God. Forget about you. Amen. And put your mind on equipping the saints. Amen. Glory be to God because that's our job to teach the people about Jesus Christ. To teach the people about the work of the ministry. Glory be to God. And when you do that, then the people will have a desire. Amen. Yes. They'll have a desire. Amen. To right. do the will of God. Amen. Then you don't have to worry about the seats being empty in the ministry. Amen. Then they'll begin to go out, amen, and then they'll begin to execute what you have developed in them yes. and deposited in them. And then they'll begin to go out, amen, and they'll begin to, amen, to gather, amen, those that don't know Christ. They'll begin to bring them in the house of prayer, yes. and then you'll see God being glorified in the house, amen. But first, we got to be the first partaker, amen. We got to make sure that we are developing the people of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to equip the saints. It's yes. time. Glory be to God. Time out for all of this foolishness. It's so much foolishness in the house of prayer. Hallelujah. Yes. It's, it's become like the Apollo. Glory be to ah, God. Ah, Hallelujah. Ah, Glory be to God. It's like the Apollo. Amen. On Saturday yes. night. It's like the Apollo. Everyone want to entertain. Yes. Amen. Everybody want to amen. show their gifts and their talents. Off. But right. nobody That's is right. growing. That's right. Nobody's growing. Amen. Amen. We come to church. Amen. To the house of prayer. We hear a good sermon. Amen. But there's no fruit of growth. That's right. Amen. Spiritually, that's what I'm talking Amen. about. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There's no spiritual fruit. 
no spiritual growth. That's what I'm concerned about. That's why he called yes. me. Amen. Yes. That's why he ordained me. That's why yes. he affirmed me. Yes. I know my function. Glory be to God. I'm a provocateur. Amen. I know a lot of times people, when they become, amen, amen, the, have, when God gives them, amen, anoints them and affirms them, amen, and the fivefold grace gifts, amen, I'm just going to take me as an example, amen, as a prophet, amen, it's not a title, and it's it's not an office, amen, but it's a grace gift, amen. I had to get understanding exactly of what that meant, hallelujah. You have to get understanding of your grace gift, amen, and then you got to function in it, amen, properly, amen, hallelujah. I'm a provocateur. It's my job, amen, to provoke the people. Hallelujah. It's not all about prophesying. Amen. I know we think it's all about prophesying, but that's just a fraction of being a prophet. Amen. And walking in the grace gift of the prophet. That's just a fraction. But God has given me governmental authority. Amen. To function and to operate legally in the earth realm. That's right. Amen. That's Glory right. be to God. It is my That's job to right. make sure that people, amen, have an encounter and atmosphere personally. Amen. That they can reach God for themselves. That they can yes. hear God for themselves. On, that they can see it. God for themselves. That's right. That is my function as the prophet. Mm -hmm. Amen. And prophesying. But that's my function. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's about, saints. That's what it's about, people of God. Hallelujah. Equipping the people in this hour to know their functionality. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the ministry of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And when that happens, God is glorified. Amen. You'll see the growth. Amen. Glory be to God. I pray that you were encouraged on today. I pray that you heard the word of God on today. Hallelujah. Amen. We are excited. Amen. For what God is doing in this season. Amen. Hallelujah. How he's given us a teaching spirit to teach the people. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's time to teach the people. Amen. Enough of preaching. Amen. Glory be to God. Now it's time to teach. Amen. We had enough Amen. preaching. Now it's time to teach time and to equip teach. the people. Thank Amen. You. To be who they are in Christ Jesus. Amen. To further the ministry of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Here on earth while we are yet still here. Yes. Amen. There's work to be done. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I got a charge to keep and a yes. God to glorify. Right. Hallelujah. Not glorify myself, but glorify the God that's in me Amen. who called me for such a time as this. Glory be to God. We thank you for tuning in today. Amen. With the prophetic, amen, amen. voice ministry. Amen. amen. Yours truly, Prophet amen. Veronica Mercer. Amen. I am the senior pastor, amen, at Empowerment oh, Prophetic Healing you. Ministry, ministry located here in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, 43 Cinnamon Place. Our Sunday morning worship experience begins at 11 o'clock with Sunday school at 10 o'clock. Amen. If you don't have a church, home, even if you would just like to visit, you are more than welcome to come, amen, and visit us, amen, come and grow with us, that's our mantle, our, excuse me, our mantra, come and grow with us, amen, we are forever growing and learning in the things of God, amen, you first have to be teachable, amen, glory be to God, and that's what we do here, we teach you and we equip you, amen, how to work effectively together in the ministry of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't know if there's one watching on today that do not know Jesus Christ. Amen. And the pardoning of your sins and forgiveness of your sins. But I would like to extend an invitation to you on today. Amen. All you have to do is repent. Acknowledge that you are a sinner. Glory be to God. Because the scripture clearly says that we all, amen, are sinners. But we are saved by grace. Hallelujah. You first have to recognize that you are a sinner and that you need a savior. All you have to do is ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins, to come into your heart and be Lord over your life. It's just that simple. But we have to acknowledge it. 
Amen. Glory be to God. If we don't acknowledge that we are a sinner, then we cannot be saved. Amen. We got to take accountability and acknowledge, amen, that we are a sinner. And if you believe, amen, what you have just said, Jesus now is Lord over your life. Now, the next thing you need to do is find you a house of prayer to go to where they're teaching, amen, the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Amen. A Bible faith-based, amen, ministry. And if you're looking for one, again, we would love to have you. 43 Silliman Place, Bridgeport, Connecticut, 11 a.m., our Sunday worship service. Come join us. Amen. The doors of the church are always open. Amen. Glory be to God. Sunday, 11 o'clock. Amen. And then again, on Friday, we have fire night delivery service at 7.30 p.m., Hallelujah. And then on Wednesdays at 6 p.m., we have prayer and Bible study. You're more than welcome to come and join us. Glory be to God. I want to pray with you right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There might be somebody watching. Amen. And might be struggling. Amen. Might not have any hope. Amen. Might feel like the world is against you. Everyone is against you. Nobody cares. I want to pray with you right now and let you know that God cares. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we just want to thank you all today. We thank you, oh God, for your son, Jesus Christ, who died for the sinful likes of humanity. No sin in him. But he took on the sins of the world and he died and he rose on the third day with all power and authority in his hand. Lord, I pray for those that are watching on today that have no hope. Oh God, I come to let them know that you are the hope, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that, oh God, all they have to do is look to you, to call on Jesus. And when they call, you'll show up. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you would touch right now wherever they are. Holy Spirit, take authority right now over that situation. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, strengthen them where they are weak. Build them up where they've been cast down. In the name of Jesus, let them know that you are nigh unto them. And there's no thing too hard for you. There's no failure in you. You can do all things, oh God. In the name of Jesus, touch them even now, God. Heal in their body. Heal in their minds. In the name of Jesus. Move in that situation. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that it is so. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We thank God again for you tuning in again to the Prophetic Voice Ministry, where I am your host, Prophet Veronica Mercer. We say to you, be blessed, be strengthened, and be encouraged in the Lord. God bless you. Until next time, shalom, shalom.